Hello, I'm Rutherford Kidd. I'm called an avatar, a 3D human representation, and I live in Second Life. And, as you can see from my badge, I work at the IEEE. So what is Second Life? Like the web, Second Life, or SL, is a lot of things to a lot of people. SL is an online virtual world, a 3D universe populated by avatars like me, and some not like me at all. Avatars can walk, fly, or even teleport to different locations within SL. The SL world has its own economy and its own currency, the Linden dollar, which can be bought and sold like any other currency. Items created within Second Life, from clothing to castles, are owned by those who create them, and so content creators can buy and sell their items in Second Life. Avatars, or rather the humans behind them, can build objects, from delicate jewelry to massive skyscrapers, from vehicles to facsimiles of actual urban neighborhoods. Objects in Second Life can be programmed to achieve a wide range of behaviors and interaction. And although the capabilities are still limited, Second Life can display QuickTime movies. When you combine all these capabilities, a 3D environment, built-in e-commerce infrastructure, powerful capabilities for creating interactive objects, multiple communication channels, you can see why many corporations and universities have established a presence in Second Life. From research to virtual campuses, from conducting actual job interviews, to a virtual showroom. So how big is Second Life, and where is this IEEE island? Second Life is organized as a grid. Some of this grid is organized as islands, plots of land surrounded by water. The IEEE currently owns two adjacent islands on which homes are being created for IEEE organizational units, student chapters, societies, and other IEEE groups. The Standards Association has a parcel on IEEE Island 1, The SA has a new headquarters building, but it's not on Hose Lane. It's the first building a visitor to the campus sees when entering from the TV Tower Bridge. Each building on the campus has an information desk with FAQs, and these desks can be staffed by an actual staff expert for special events or if traffic warrants. As this building is developed, it will contain offices for general use including registration, working group and electronic services, membership, and administration. Across the piazza is the SA Media Center. Still under construction, this building will house a reception area and large theater for films and presentations, as well as a video studio upstairs. This building will evolve into the SA's Media Creation and Viewing Center. One way the Standards Association can use Second Life is to conduct virtual meetings. Avatars can get together anywhere. But this building, the Center for Standards Development, is being designed as the Center for IEEE Working Groups. The lobby, again with an information desk, will provide information for groups developing IEEE standards. In addition to all the areas on campus for one-on-one -on -one or group discussions, this building contains the prime SA conference room currently available for committee meetings. Avatars can communicate with each other in a variety of ways. 
For example, Second Life's instant messaging feature allows for private or group communications that can automatically be sent as email if the target avatar is offline. In addition, chat broadcasts text within the immediate vicinity, which happens to be about the size of this conference room. And of course, Second Life supports voice chat, which is what I'm doing right now. That's what the glowing dot means. In a meeting, all these channels of communication can be operating simultaneously. This creates a complex web of interaction that would not be practical in the physical world. The fourth and final building on the Standards Association campus is the Standards Library. As with the other three buildings, there is an information desk. There will also be video monitors and touch panels throughout this three-story building. The first essay collection available is the 802 series of IEEE LAN MAN standards. This area on the second floor of the library is an experiment in using SL as a front end for PDF content on the web. This shelf contains the entire Get802 collection. Volumes are color-coded to show documents of different types. Each volume has a control panel that eventually might contain a number of additional useful controls. For now, clicking the left-hand button connects to IEEE Explorer Summary page for the document, and clicking the right-hand button opens the appropriate PDF file from the essay website in your external browser. Unfortunately, displaying PDF or flash files in SL is not currently possible, but this ability to trigger a web browser and thereby display files of any type is a very useful stopgap. With this rudimentary capability alone, Second Life can be used as an expressive and flexible front end for existing web content. In fact, that's one piece of what Second Life and this campus are about, taking existing content and recasting it in three dimensions a walkthrough website. If you haven't tried Second Life yet, it's easy to get started. Just go to secondlife.com, download their free software, and install it. You'll also create an account, a fictitious first and last name, and an avatar over whose appearance you have pretty much total control. Once you're set up, launch the Second Life software you downloaded, log in with your new name, and go through the lessons on Orientation Island. Once you're familiar with the Second Life basics, you can type this URL into your web browser and it will teleport you to IEEE Island. So, I hope you've enjoyed this quick introduction to the IEEE Standards Association Campus and Second Life, version 0.1. If you're a group working on an IEEE Standards project of any kind, and you'd like to conduct a meeting in World, please get in touch with Jay Iorio to arrange it. And I encourage everybody to visit and explore IEEE Island. Check in for a few minutes and see who's around. Until then, this is Rutherford Kidd coming to you from the SA campus on IEEE Island. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.